you ever been shopping in your local gear shop, wanted a tent, but thought that price was just a little too high for you? Well, today on Backpacking TV, I'm gonna be teaching you how to build the $20 tent. So today on Backpacking TV, I wanna to talk to you about some alternative shelter options beyond just your classic two-man tent that you get from REI. There's a lot of other options out there, and one of my favorites is actually just a super simple tarp with some P-cord or some paracord. And it's a very simple option, and it's not the lightest option. However, tarps can be replaced with a little bit more of a technical fabric if you wanna go lighter. But today on the video, I'd really just wanna show you about tarp shelters and other kinds of shelter options. I spent three years backpacking as a wilderness therapy guide, and actually, this is what I lived out of the whole time, the whole year round. So it can be done, and it actually works surprisingly well. So I just picked this tarp up at my local sportsman's warehouse, and uh, anything, you'd find the same thing at a Home Depot. This one was like, I think, literally $12. This was $7. So if you talk about your $200 tent at REI, this is saving you quite a bit of money. So first, let's open this baby up and lay it out. This is gonna be the first time use here for this particular tarp. Okay, I've got my big tarp laid all the way out here. And now I just need to connect this uh, P-cord onto the shelter and make six points of contact. One here at the center, another one opposite, and then one at each of the four corners. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is building an A-frame. And uh, this tarp already comes with grommets, which can be really handy to use. But sometimes, if heavy winds are coming in, I actually don't want to use those grommets because that will actually be a weak point and a point where the whole thing, the whole grommet can rip out of the tarp if the wind is really high and uh, leave you in a pretty bad position. So I'm going to teach you one other little trick to help make your tent extra secure. Now, if you're not using the grommets, what do you use? Well, a little rock or a little pine cone, it actually can be quite useful. And there's a, there's a cool way to connect it here. I'll take the rock and I'll make a little knob like so. And I take my string you're going to fold the rope over once, fold the rope over twice, and then you bend one behind the other, and then you wrap that over this little knob you just made, or as I like to call it, a ghosty. And now you have a super strong point of contact here. And that rock, it actually gives it something firm to kind of cinch against, and that clove hitch will stay pretty much until you undo it like that. Now I'm going to run this whole knot around to here, giving myself some extra room to play with. I've got a hundred feet of rope or P-cord here. And since this is the first time, I am now making it however long I feel like it. So let's go about right there. Hopefully that'll do. And I'm gonna do the same thing over on this other side with another rock I collected. The trucker's hitch is super useful and I'm a big advocate of it. So learning how to tie it is very, very handy. Now that I've got two sides up, I'm going to implement my second knot, which is the trucker's hitch. So what I do here is I create Another point, this is an anchor point. I can show you in tighter here in just a second. 
And then this becomes where you pull from. It'll make more sense when I actually have something to resist against when I set up the other side. Let's get this back up. So by pulling back against this, I can create quite a bit of tension. And the benefit of it is that it's still super easy to untie. So if I ever feel like untying it and redoing it, I simply pull on this line and it comes out. I think I'm going to want to raise this other side up a little higher. Now I'm noticing that this rope is just a little bit slippery. So I'll just double it back and make it extra strong. You can see how that works? So this is your anchor point. Wrap it around the tree, come back to this, and then that's what you can pulley against. Pretty handy. Okay. All I'm going to do is I'm going to see how much of this rope I have remaining and try to cut it into relatively equal lengths. Bear with me. So now I'm going to take this end. I'm going to use this reinforced corner here. And make what's called a girth hitch. Very simple connection point. Doesn't require any tying. And just that simple thing is how I'm going to fold that over. Then I'm going to go and use this starting to rain here, so actually see how this gets used. Make another trucker hitch. Now I don't want to tie everything off too tight quite yet, so I'll kind of see how everything sits, and then once I'm sure where I want it, then I'll adjust the tension. This one's gonna be a little off angle. Unless I wanted to, I could make a dead man anchor right down here by burying a stick or a bunch of rocks, and then that's gonna give me the angle that I do want. But for the sake of expediency, I'm gonna make it a little bit off angle. I might adjust it later, just in case. Yeah, I definitely like having a better angle. It sits a lot cleaner. But uh, I may adjust that once I get the other ones rigged up. Looks like I'm going to have to show you how to do a dead man anyway. Okay, so here I'm going to show you how to build a dead man anchor. And uh, really, that's just because none of these trees are currently at the angles that I want them to. If I, if I had all of these trees like this first anchor, everything would be nice and 45 degrees and looking good. But that's okay, because we'll do something different. And I'm basically going to dig a hole for this to go in, and then that becomes my new anchor point. Probably going to go grab some of those big rocks. Slow, slow digging. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. Rain's picking up. I gotta hurry up with my shelter. Okay, so set up the girth hitch here. And I just wanna one thing I can do, a simple thing, is just to wrap this a bunch of times. That will create enough friction with the bark. But of course you can always make another trucker hitch or a clove hitch. And then I'm going to bury this guy and put a big rock there. So now the log is underground, being pulled against this rock, and uh, that creates my anchor. Now let's do it again. So if you've missed how I do the girth hitch, 
All I do is I take the end of my rope or P cord or whatever, and just fold it over, give myself about six inches there. Put it up through that hole back on itself where I can then grab all of this and then I just pull it through. And as I then add more friction to this or more tension, it creates more friction and it'll hold it there as long as you want. I'll tell you what, I actually truly love a shelter like this. And one of the things I love about it is that you feel a little bit more connected to the elements while you still actually are protected and safe. I can't tell you how many monsoon storms I've watched pass by overhead, seeing lightning striking, all from the comfort of my tarp shelter. I hope that you've learned something today. I hope you learned a few knots that you can take to your camp. And uh, if nothing else, you can uh, show and impress your friends with the new shelter that you can make. I am a big advocate for this style of camping. I think it's underrated and not nearly enough people do it anymore. So give it a try. And I'd love to hear from you if you have tried it or if you're interested in trying it, or maybe you say, no way, not for me, buddy. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. For those of you who stuck around to find out how I packed it up, well, it can look as tight and neat as this. All you do is you take down the four corners, leaving the ridge line intact at first, then take off the ridge lines. Then you just fold it in half and in half and in half. And then you've got a nice long line of tarp and then you fold it partially and then you fold that again and then you fold that again until you need to start rolling and it gives you a super tight roll. And then you've got a nice little bit of cordage to just wrap it up, tie it up, attach it to your backpack and move on. Thank you.